Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm John Ingalls. Thanks for coming by this afternoon for us to talk to you about P550. Uh, this complements Josh Smith's presentation yesterday. So I'll breeze through the first part and then get to the second. Um, P550 is our medium-sized, high-performance core in our Sci-5. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the mask on. But uh, P550 is our medium-sized, high-performance core in our Sci-5 performance product line. Uh, it was first generally released this year, earlier this year, and it's continuing development. Uh, so I'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, quick microarchitecture at a glance. Uh, it's a, I think, fairly contemporary and competitive design. It's a three-wide machine, uh, various branch pipe or various pipeline depths, as is typical for an out-of-order core, uh, from 13 stages for integer loads down to nine stages for branch mispredict latency. Um, so that is both good for performance, having that shorter pipeline, and also we've made area driven de design choices all over the core to try and get better area density. Putting that good performance and good area density together, we get outstanding performance density. Uh, our original metric to compare against was the A72, which was a very widely used core. Uh, we actually overshot our internal mark and uh, we actually are even a little bit faster than the ARM Cortex-A75 while being smaller. And if you put that together, we're like three times the performance density. So we're very proud of that uh, and hope that would be useful to you. Um, it's also a very feature-rich core. We've been working on this core for a long time, uh, going from our first announced and delivered U84 to P550. There are a lot of improvements in the private L2 cache and a multi-level prefetcher. Uh, and then in the 21 G3 release, coming up this month, uh, we're adding a hypervisor support and further power and timing improvements. So we're not stopping work on this. And then continuing work on the core, we've also announced the P650, which is going to be available for an architecture preview next month. So we're super excited about that. We're continuing upwards with this core generator. Uh, that's going to see wider pipelines, uh, more improvements in the memory subsystem, multi-cluster. Currently, we're at four cores per cluster times two clusters in 21G3. We'll continue going upwards. So if you want an architecture preview of P650, we're very excited about that. We're working on it now. Um, the demo that we have here today is we have P550 available at our booth uh, on an FE VCU 118 FPGA. You can play around with it all the peripherals put together into a complete package, and the Freedom U SDK that's able to, um, I, I, it's, it's cool every time I look at it uh, to see debugging that core uh, and seeing it work. Uh, so I guess come see the highest performing RISC-V processor IP that we have today. And I actually finished like way faster, so we do have time for questions if you want them. I'll repeat them if you ask. Let me check online to see if we have any questions. Nope, no questions online. And the videos look hilariously bad. Um, well, if I got extra time, I'll poke around a little bit. Uh, yes, yes. So are you developing a board for this core like you did with the NS, or is that going to be left up to other companies? Great question. The question is, are we developing a board for this, like the unmatched? So I think if the unmatched was FU740. I would love to build an FU840. Um, at the moment, I cannot comment on those plans, uh, and we have not announced any plans uh, to do so. Good question, though. We have it on an FPGA board to demo today, <laughs> but not silicon yet. We want to get that silicon into more people's hands. All right, I'm going to give a chance to the next presenter to set up. Uh, but yeah, come see this at our booth. This is Mallard, available today. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 